we use both Pythagoras and the trigonometric ratios, Sokotoa, to find an unknown length or angle in a right angled triangle. We've got three different triangles here with three different unknowns. Can you work out which ones are going to be Sokotoa and which one will be Pythagoras? So Pythagoras is just involving the lengths of a right angle triangle. So the middle triangle here has got no angle in it. It's only lengths. So it will be Pythagoras. We'll use Pythagoras to find a missing side. And it could be the hypotenuse we're working out, or it could be one of the shorter sides. It doesn't matter, either the hypotenuse or one of the shorter sides. So if you've got two sides of a right angle triangle, you can use Pythagoras to work out the third one. If there's an angle in the question, so either there's an angle, we know one of the lengths, and we want to work out one of the other lengths. So if there's an angle and a length that we know, we can work out one of the other lengths using Sokotoa. And we can also use Sokotoa if we know two of the lengths and we want to know a missing angle. So if we know any two of the lengths, we can find an angle using Sokotoa. So in this video, we're going to run through different questions a mixture of Pythagoras and Sokotoa, a mixture of finding angles and lengths, just to get used to being able to identify which of these we're using. So question one, find the length of BC. So the length of BC is this one here. What are we using to solve it? So it's only lengths. So this is a Pythagoras question. And Pythagoras says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the two shortest sides squared and added together equal the longest side squared. And the longest side is called the hypotenuse. And it's always opposite the right angle. So in this question, We've got 2.1 squared, we can say 2.1 squared plus 2.8 squared equals x squared. And if we type 2.1 squared plus 2.8 squared into the calculator, 2.1 squared plus 2.8 squared, so we've got 49 over 4 or 12.25, so we can say x squared is equal to 12.25, so x will be the square root of 12.25, so square root of the answer, which is 7 over 2, or 3.5, so x is 3.5 centimetres. Question 2, the second question, Find the length of AC, give your answer to one decimal place. So AC is this length between A and C. We can't use Pythagoras because we don't know both of the other two sides. So we can use, we know an angle, we can use Sokotoa. So let's label our triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. The opposite is opposite the angle we're using, and the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So are we using sin cos or tan, so ka or toa? We want O and H. See, O is X, H is 9, and A is not in the question. So O and H, the ones without A in, means it's so. And so means that sine with the angle 
equals O divided by H. So in this question, the angle is 32. So sine 32 equals X divided by 9. So X is divided by 9 to get X by itself, which is the opposite of dividing by 9, which is multiplying by 9. So if we multiply both sides by 9, we get 9 times sine 32, or just 9 sine 32. So let's type that into the calculator. And we find out what x is to one decimal place. That's 4.8. So x is 4.8 centimeters to one decimal place. The next question says, find the size of angle ABC. Give your answer to one decimal place. So A to B to C. That's this angle here. We can't use Pythagoras to find a missing angle. And we know two of the lengths, so we can use Sokotoa. So the first step, label the triangle. So the hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. Opposite our angle is called the opposite. And the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So which ratio are we using? Is it a sin, a cos, or a tan? So O and A are in the question. O is 7. A is 11. We don't know what H is. We don't want to know what H is. So it's tan, it's toa. Toa means tan theta, tan with the angle, is O divided by A. And substituting in what we know, so 10x is 7 over 11. O is 7 and A is 11. To get tan away from x, to get x by itself, we do arctan, shift tan. So x is shift tan 7, 11. So let's type that in the calculator. Shift tan seven elevenths, and we get an answer of 32.5. So x is 32.5 degrees to one decimal place. The next question find the length of AC. A to C is the hypotenuse. Is it Sokotoa or Pythagoras? So we don't know the other two lengths. We only know one of the lengths, so we can't use Pythagoras. There's an angle in the question, and we know one of the other lengths, so it is Sokotoa. So label the triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side. The opposite is opposite the angle, and the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So is it Sokka or Toa? So we can see that H is in the question. That's what we're working out. A is in the question. It's 8.2. We don't know O. So O can't be in the question. So it's Ka. And that stands for cos with the angle equals A over H. So substituting in, that's cos 50 is A, which is 8.2, over H, which is X. So we want to find X. At the moment, it's on the bottom of a fraction. So we don't want that. So let's multiply both sides by X, which will be X cos 50 equals 8.2. And then... Divide both sides by cos 50 to get x by itself. So 8.2 over cos 50. 
and we can type that into the calculator. And we get to one decimal place, 12.8. So X is 12.8 centimeters to one decimal place. The next question says find the length of AB. So AB, A to B, give your answer to one decimal place. So you can see there's no angle involved in this question. And we know two of the lengths already. We're finding a third. So it's Pythagoras, which says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The two shorter sides are called A and B. The hypotenuse is C. So in our question, we've got X squared plus 3.9 squared equals 6.5 squared. So to get X squared by itself, we take away 3.9 squared from both sides. So X squared is 6.5 squared minus 3.9 squared. We can find out what that is in a calculator. So 6.5 squared take away 3.9 squared is 27.04. So X squared is 27.04. To get X by itself, we square root both sides. So square root the answer. And that's 5.2. So X is 5.2 centimetres. And the next question, we're working out angle ACB. So ACB. We're working out an angle. We know two of the lengths. That's Sokotoa. So the hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the angle it's called the opposite and in between the angle and the right angle is the adjacent so which ratio are we using is it sin cos or tan so in the question are o and h a is not in the question so it's so so means sine with the angle is equal to o over h so that means that in this question sine x is 15 over 25 and we want to get x by itself so to get sine away from x we shift sign so x is shift sign arc sign of 15 over 25 so shift sign 15 over 25 and to one decimal place that's 36.9 so 36.9 degrees to one decimal place these are the last two questions i've added additional information just to try and confuse things a bit so question one the first one says find the length of AB. So AB is this length here. Give your answer to one decimal place. So we can't use Pythagoras. We only know one of the other lengths. We can use Sokotoa and we can use either of these two angles. So we only need to know one of these angles, but we know them both. So we need to pick which angle we're using before we label the triangle. So it doesn't matter which one we use, but we just need to decide which one it is we're using. So if we use 54, then X will be the opposite. 6.3 will be the hypotenuse and A to C will be the adjacent. If we use 36, You'll get the same answer, but the labeling and the ratio you use will be different. So 
let's go with this. So we're using the opposite and the hypotenuse. We're not using A. So that would be sine. But if you used um, 36, if you use 36 degrees, you'll be using the adjacent and the hypotenuse, which will be cos. Again, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. So sine with the angle, sine theta, is O over H. So in this question, that means sine 54 is X over 6.3. To get x by itself, multiply both sides by 6.3. So we've got 6.3 times sine 54, which is x. So type it into the calculator. And to one decimal place, that's 5.1. So x equals 5.1 centimetres to one decimal place. If you had used 36, you will have 6.3 cos 36, which again is the same answer. And the second question, find the length of BC. So BC is this length here. Give your answer to one decimal place. So this time we know an angle and we also know two of the lengths. So we can use Pythagoras or we can use Sokotoa to find x. It doesn't matter which we use. Again, we'll get the same answer. So if we use Pythagoras, Pythagoras says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a and b the two shorter sides and c is the hypotenuse so that would be x squared plus 4.1 squared equals 8.2 squared to get x squared by itself take 4.2 squared away from both sides so x squared is 8.2 squared minus 4.1 squared which is 50.43. So x will be the square root of 50.43, which is 7.1 to one decimal place. And again, if you use Sokotoa for this, if you did use Sokotoa for this, so you'll be using 60 degrees as your angle. So X would have been the opposite. 8.2 would be the hypotenuse and 4.1 would be the adjacent. You'll have an option. Um, you could use either, either sign O and H, you couldn't use cos, but you could use tan, O and A. So you could use either sine or tan. If you did sine 60 equals X over H. So sine 60 equals O over H, which is X over 8.2. So you'll type into the calculator 8.2 sine 60 so 8.2 sine 60 gets you the same answer of 7.1